Hello and welcome on this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Minecraft product. If you want to see how to create a normal product, please check out the description. I've already made a video about it. Everything that you're going to see today is the development version of the dashboard. Because when I'm recording this, the dashboard hasn't been released yet. First, let's go on products and create a product and we're going to create a Minecraft product. Product name, product description, a nice description. And uh, we need to put the product image and the product thumbnail, but it's optional. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put an image and a thumbnail. So to put an image and a thumbnail, you need an image link, a web link. So um, I've just typed image on Google and I'm going to pick one of the images. I'm going to copy the link here, paste it here. So it will be my image and uh, this link for the thumbnail, copy image link, paste it here. Of course, you need to use uh, images that you own uh, for the for this video. It's test product, so I don't care about the ownership of the images. Save. Now, product payment provider. For this video, I'm going to select PayPal. If you want to use Stripe, I have a specific video about it. Please watch it because Stripe is far more valuable than PayPal. I'm going to use PayPal here because I just need to put an email and for Stripe I need to put my user account ID. I'm going to put my platform ID, so my PayPal I am email pay me at shop.site and uh, currency I'm going to select dollars and yeah. You see one major downside of PayPal, you need to put a product price down more than six and a half dollars. So save. So now our specific product information. So server IP, this is your server IP. Here we are going to put my real IP, so it will be blurred. And at the end, it's very important you put two dots and your port that you've set up in your shopbot minecraft plugin if you didn't set up your shopbot minecraft plugin again please watch my video about it it's very quick so in my case it's the base port 4734 of course you need to open this port on your server and the server password you want to search for five player online this will determine if the user buying your product need to be online on your server while claiming it i don't know if you want to say hello to him while he's on your server if he claims your product while not being on your server shopbot will tell him hey please connect yourself on the minecraft server to be able to claim the product so in our case we're going to put no oh, i said no first command so i'm just going to put say hello of course don't put a slash it's written there in the front of the command it's like a console executed command so if it's just like if you're executing a command in your console but this is shopbot executing it for you automatically when someone buy a product and if you want to have the buyer nickname you just need to put Two things like that and put player just here and this will be replaced with the buyer's nickname and say hello thanks for buying my product and here we I just don't want to have five comments I just want one comment so I'm just going to click on submit and product created great so now, so now let's head up on Discord. You can see that I have the shop admin wall. I've talked about this on how to correctly set up shopbot video. Uh, please watch it. It's also very quick. Uh, it shows you how to correctly set up shopbot. I have the shop admin wall. Basically, you just need to create a shop admin wall just like that. Add it to yourself and you will be good to go. And I have the shopbot dev bot. It's totally normal because this is a video made with development uh, equipment. So here, we just need to put one command, slash generate, and the product ID, very simple, 
see there uh, no no it's right here 187 187 tab enter good you're good to go product has been created if you edit your product please regenerate your product message it's obvious and uh, of course delete this message it will be useless and uh, we can delete this message because it's uh, an information message telling us exactly what I've just said to you. And that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to open a ticket on the Discord server. The link will be down in the description. See you in the next one.